Welcome to our Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights video. We are actually doing this introduction at the end of the night where it's actually 2 a.m. and we've completed our very first Halloween Horror Nights. So this video is going to contain a lot of flashing lights, a lot of gore, and it's not suitable for children under 13. So that's your warning. Enjoy the video. This is our first ever house that we're ever going to go into. Into yeah, it is. Nights. Yeah. And Insidious has been voted the scariest house this year. It has. So I'm just going to read the description before we head in. So it says, Enter the fervor as demons try to ensnare you. The red faced demon will lure you into his lair. Key face will unlock your fears and more. Go on. There's only any queue behind us. Backstage, it's not very often you see the Hogwarts Express going past. It's going the right way now. So we're in Insidious now. It's about a 45 minute wait. Yeah. I, I already feel terrified of not even going in yet. <laughs> I'm just going to be hiding behind you, lad. Yeah. I'm not even going in, you'll go first. Yeah, we'll see, what, <laughs> see how it goes. I've just come out of Insidious. My heart is literally coming out of my chest. Like, that was terrifying. I don't know why, I don't know how you saw anything you had in front of me all the time. I was literally like this the entire time behind that. And Sometimes two was, ones like literally it was tied in below my back. That was terrifying. It was really good though. Yeah. Like, yeah, that is a brilliant experience. Well, all the other ones should be a breeze now. It was very jumpy. Seems though that's the uh, most scariest one this year. And we've done that first. And the costumes are brilliant, aren't they? Oh, I have to say, my heart is my heart is still pounding so bad. So we're on Ghostbusters now. This is the queue. So we want to do Insidious first. So that's the second most popular, isn't it? The yeah. Most popular is the Quiet Place, and then then Insidious, yeah, then Ghostbusters. Yeah, but for what we're bothered about, it was Insidious. Yeah. First, and now we're doing Ghostbusters. Yeah, we really want to do Ghostbusters. So, so we're going to get the two. We definitely want to do out of the way first, no matter how long the wait is. Just so we've definitely done them. Yeah. And then the rest of the night. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what we want. We're, yeah. So Ghostbusters, we're actually walking to it. It's Frozen Empire. An ancient artifact has released a chilling new entity, Goraka. It will stop you cold. Only the ghost buses can keep you from getting iced. Oh. It can't be as bad as the city, so I think I'm the right <laughs> Hopefully. I don't, surely the rest of the houses now aren't going to be nowhere near as bad as that. Like, I'm still not even that. When, when we was literally going through that, the big red door, so you, at the entrance of it, of the house, it's like a massive red door. Yeah. Because you're entering the further. Yeah, because you're entering the further. I just said to myself, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> so, nothing else can be as bad as that, can it? Hopefully not. <laughs> At the entrance of Ghostbusters now. So we'll let you know how we get on afterwards. Yep. Oh, just for the background noise, it's a bit noisy here. Everywhere it's noisy everywhere. So the Prof Ghostbusters, that was absolutely epic. Yeah. I absolutely love that. The theming was brilliant and it the characters fantastic. and all the references to the movies, it was brilliant. And there was little little state, uh, mini state bus everywhere in every room doing really funny scenes, yeah, weren't they? You have to look out for them everywhere you go. There's also an Ecto-1 in there and the car actually moved. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. It was so cool. There were still jump scares. There was yeah. like people like, on them gigantic stilts. But not like, to the degree of Insidious. No, no. Like, you actually enjoyed this yeah, one. Yeah, I actually looked around like in every room and was like enjoying it. And you said Whereas you do this Insidious, one again. Whereas yeah. Insidious, I was just literally like, like this, all behind that the whole way through. And so I didn't really look at much in Insidious. It was just so frightening. You, yeah, you said you'd do this one again, wouldn't you? As I, well? Yeah, I definitely want to do that again tonight. That was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Loved it. And the wait was only 40 minutes for this one, so Brilliant. really good. The stay and scream is, is definitely worthwhile if you can do it. Okay, so we're heading to Major Sweets Candy Factory. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the description here because it is so loud past this point. So you're chaperoning a field trip to a candy factory when the free samples transform the kids into candy coated killers. Let's go.
test 25 minutes so I'll see how long it actually takes. So we've just done, no we haven't, I know it's a plastic for your face. We've just done the candy one. So we had, how long was the wait? An hour's wait to get on that one. Yeah, it wasn't 25 minutes like you said, it took us an hour. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was worth the wait. But no. It was still good, lots of jump scares. Yeah, lots of jump scares. Demon's really good. Yeah. Sent quite short compared yeah. to the other ones we've done so far. Yeah, lots of jump scares, but yeah, yeah it was good. I think the, the, the theme was really good on yeah. that. Yeah. And now it's pitch black now, outside. Yeah. So now we're gonna get some food as well. I think we're in the blue mask scare zone as well, so that'll be interesting. Yeah, all the wait times have jumped up quite a lot since we was in there, because we've been checking the wait times whilst we're in the queue. So now we're gonna get a few snacks, aren't we? We are, yeah. There's a grabber. Uh, is he the grabber? Oh, he's not the grabber. Universal very often at night this time of year because the park's normally shut before it's dark. So we've just come to Louis for a snack and we've got these garlic knots with marinara sauce. They cost four dollars something each. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Budget really. snack, isn't it? Yeah. Because we have looked at all the menus and we have watched a lot of YouTube videos and the food for the Halloween Horror Nights special items. Well, it's not been given great reviews, has it? No, has it? The food. No, no, and nothing really appealed to us and on this one. Yeah, nothing appeals to us. It's super, super expensive. Yeah. Um, and honestly, we haven't got the money to waste on no. food that we don't like. We know where we do like this. So. Yes, so you can get these on a normal open part day, can't you? You can, yeah. Normal part day. It's absolutely brilliant. So we're going to have this now. We also did get our freestyle cup for the night, because obviously we're going to be here until 2 a.m. So we're definitely going to get our money's worth. This is already our second drink. If we were to buy bottles, it's six dollars each. Yeah. Um, after the pass out the discount. Was so this eleven dollars with pass out the discount? They yeah. go on to it. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, great budget snack here. Oh, Ricky. She jump on the to do today. <laughs> oh God. I thought these are creepy, aren't they? Yeah, these are very creepy. This is a taker. He lost me in the fog. Yeah. <laughs> it just started spitting again as well. It poured it down early when we was waiting for ghost buses, wasn't it? Yeah. And now yeah. it's just started raining again, unfortunately. Not too heavy. No. Looking at the weather app, it doesn't look like it's going to be too heavy for the rest of the night, but there will be a shower. I'm just going to get a massive drop in the face. Oh dear. So we just stopped at Florian's in Diagon Alley to get an ice cream. Yeah, so it is open for Halloween Horror Nights. Till 1am apparently. It's absolutely chuck it down, so there's no death eaters out at the moment. We've just seen two dark pastas, but yeah, while the rain's on, we don't think they're out. I think they might be down Locktail Alley, so we'll go down there in a minute and uh, have a look to see if there's any death eaters about. So I couldn't see any death eaters down Locktail Alley, so we're uh, just chuck it down. We're heading to the front of the park now.
guys, face your demons. Oh, we faced it all right. We did. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> Not tonight anyway, Not tonight. no way. So we've got a monstrous now, the monsters of Latin America. It says 50 minute wait. Can't really see that. Right? Everything's really high wait times. So we're gonna go on this one, aren't we now? We are. Noel's got the description up on a phone, so she's gonna read it to you. With La Muerte as your guide, try to survive the night with three terrifying legends. I do not know how you pronounce that. Tell so, Lalo Punch. Punchy. Tell Punchy. Lalo Chuzo. Lalo Chuzo. And El Sibba. I absolutely murdered that, so I apologise for that. <laughs> So we just got off Monsters of Latin America. <laughs> you were very, very jumpy one. And there's a crown when I think, oh my God, that was so scary. <laughs> yeah, I thought Lyle was going to overtake me. <laughs> Trying to get around me just to get out quicker, I think, on that one. scary. Yeah, really good though. You got high, the theming was brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah, so I think it's all like mythic legends of Latin America, monsters kind of thing. But um, a lot of them were, gigantic yeah. monsters and they like, get very close yeah oh yeah that that's why it was so scary is in that house they literally got probably two inches away from like you animatronics that got two inches away from you i don't know how they managed to do it but yeah brilliant stuff yeah, my heart my heart's like i thought yeah my heart's panning so bad on that i thought you were gonna try and run through it but yeah that was excellent. Yeah, very good. Excellent, that very was. Very good. It's like, just, it was constant jump scares, just all the time. And because it was a really narrow walkway, yeah. the scare actors got so close to you. Yeah, even, I think that's why, it, why, that's why it was even more terrifying. Even it was in, yeah. so close. And even in a line of people, it's still scary. And we didn't, you didn't oh. see all the jumps coming because I think some of them skip, like just so, you don't get the person in front of you just so everyone gets a bit of a jump scare and there was plenty of them in that one and the fact that there was just gigantic animatronics, animatronics. And puppets and yeah brilliant Because you did through that Latin America one. <laughs> 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 
We're at a skate zone, we're actually expecting people to pop up. I don't think they're allowed to when you're no, out No, I don't think they are. So we're going into Swamp of the Undead scare zone now. So we're heading to all the other houses. Oh, I see a zombie. shaky this is going to be on the camera when I'm jumping. Or the lighting. I know. Hopefully you can see it alright. Yeah. It's very dark through these aren't they? Yeah and you get that bit dark. of light yeah. In the smoke as well you can't see a thing yeah. sometimes. I lost quite a lot of earlier. <laughs> Just noticed the DeLorean from Back to the Future is all lit up. That's cool. All the dash little. Oh, it's very cool. It's got a train from Back to the Future 3 as well. You can't see that so well. So we're going to do Goblin Feast and Sports Bars in it. Oh, There's a walker to it, I'm going to read out the description. Enter a goblin village where a feast is being prepared for goblins, orcs, hobgoblins and witches and you're the main course. <laughs> so we just walked around from the park, it's a little bit of a walk, we're in left park. About a mile. <laughs> Stand, goblin feast here look, stand by. 45 minutes from here. Goblins feast! <laughs> Sound like Dobby. <laughs> 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 okay, that's already really cool. There's a cool entrance. None of the others had an entrance like that. Yeah. So we're just doing Goblin's Feast. Uh, what do you think to it? It was very short. That's sure his house has been in. Yeah. The theming is brilliant once again. What made the jump scares really scary was again that one. They got right in your face. They did. Like, literally, their yeah. hand was here. I think they got closer to you so as well, close. didn't they? And that's what made it like really that's what made it really scary. Yeah. It was it was with how close they was yeah. to you. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was really good. It was just a really short one. Say how long we queued. Yeah. Um I think it's the shortest one we've been in so far. Yeah, it is, yeah. But yeah, it's full of jump scares still, just because they get right in your face. So we're on Slaughter Cinema 2 now, 40 minute wait. Yeah. The description for this. It's time for another horror movie marathon at the Carry Drive. No, it's time for another horror movie marathon at the Carry Drive in. Screen through scenes from creature features, ground house gore, and more. This apex predator will turn this screen into an all you can eat away. Catch this speeding frenzy at a drive in for you. Love a fresh water fun. I think this is the last scare zone, isn't it? We're not done yet. Yeah, other than Sinister and Surreal, but they weren't there when we walked through that entrance bit.
shaking stuff in the area behind yeah, them. Yeah, I saw him. Insidious, followed by the monstrous Latin America. I have to agree, yeah, they're my three uh, top picks. Definitely Ghostbusters is my favourite just because the theme is so good. So, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.